this news came out of nowhere. And, um, hey guys, me on Tips for and I'm going to Disney for a casting and or posting off this here, or a spy for a day yep. Now, the reason I want to talk about it is because I didn't want to know if he's a Star Wars fan. And as you also know, I wouldn't see if that were one. In fact, I thought I thought was yeah, okay at first, but really not that interesting. But then again, since we all do a good Disney Plus here at Casting and or, you know, that spy character who pretty got killed off in the end of the movie, who was probably with Rebel, Rebel Lions and then died. Yeah, I think we got a synopsis of the final review of his new series. Yay! I'm all okay. Why him? Why, why not have Calcutar? The do Calcutar story, for God's sake! Hate him. What's the mean, Matt? Well, you'll find out. Hate him. So, do my do my fun. It's an news. See ya. All right, um. As you can tell from my intro, see, you can tell I'm really interested about this news. Why? You'll find out. What's your story? According to an article I have from uh, the Illuminati, no, seriously, and I quote, Casting Endor synopsis reveal promising an espionage based star series. Yep. The Illuminati have uncovered the synopsis for the Casting Endor Illuminati TV series, Send the Star Universe. Yep. From the Disney Plus. Yep. New stars movie won't be live in theater for some time, but we'll get that um, has enough streaming content on the way to fill in 8080 or ADAT for short. Yep. They put all the launch system in Mandalorian, which we know is already. Yep. And it's Chrome Wars. Yep. Also, we over one series being rewritten, behind the scenes, for the next year in the spotlight. It's still on the Tarkas and Endor series. Yep. We have been able to learn a lot about the project and as it were the pre production phase. We have reported on the series for Casting Endor from youth. Based on care description of our brand new coming to the show. Yep. For the Earth just said back in return shoot in London from June twenty seventh. Yeah, they probably would be the virus basically. Yep. And here's the synopsis. Following the Avenger, a level spy casting Endor uh, during the fourth year of, of the rebellion. And prior to the events of World One. A star story, yep. Diego Luminar will play the role of Endor, which he originated in 2016 film. The spy film will explore terror field with espionage, daring mission to restore hope to guys in the grip of a ruthless empire. Yep. Well, there isn't much plot to in the description of the show's story. It d- does seem to free folk on, on the element of spying and espionage. Once the cast of Endor get in over his head, could provide great home entertainment, story opportunities, who doesn't like to see a hero in between enemy lines. And using the witch and uh, creative blaster to survive. Yep. Spy only found in one different from the chapter of the Western Eleven Star installment. And the genre, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Um, with so many interests in flux, it's in Disney Play Coming to the Right Time. That's so I'd be looking forward to the series. We're going to be far off in this year. Cassandra Show seems to have already had a chance to take the winning spot. Baton from the Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah, I call bullshit on that. That is crap. Yep. It's going to be 21, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Yep. And nothing will open the show. We will open the show. We finally get the snap of Casting Endor, and it looks like it's going to be a spy based espionage show. Yep. <laughs> My father, all, as you all know, I want to see film Rogue One. Rogue One, looking back at it, it was uh, not that great. It's kind of okay, bad because. Well, the one thing I give a damn about, well, well, uh, the blind guy, and the, uh, that's about it. Look, I, I can't, I can't remember the character name, I'm sorry, I know that's not a video, cool, but then put kind of my son's name over there, but, uh, the one thing I, I remember from that movie, and the main character that we got in our world, we're not the end of this, kind of boring, my opinion, in fact. But the only thing I reckon this movie was the droid, um, and that's about it. Like, the droid on the I actually remember. Everybody else, not so much. And, how did Cassie end up in main character of his own series? Why? Like, he's not the end of a character, he's boring. He just stole Calcutron's story and started to look. In fact, as I brought up before in general, you know, I see they show it on Calcutron. Calcutron, I miss all the Death Star brand. Why not do his story? But get Cassie and Ender, just do Calcutron. For God's sake, he's saying I'm from you. Do count the time. He stole all awesome. He's a bad guy. He's awesome. He's bad. He took he took that actually. Well, he didn't take the Empire. You know, he had to help look for the new Jedi Order. Like this guy's a bad and awesome character. Just 
do his story. Like he's not a mercenary, like Cassin. He a, was a former, former soldier of any. Um, and then after he went to rogue, obviously, and joined a rebellion. Or well, he a mercenary more precisely. Just do his story. He's an awesome kid. Just do his story, my guy. He started the Death Star brand. He had, at the, at the point in the new, new Republic, he had the, at the moment, joined the new Jedi's group. Like, why can't we do his story? Like, it's so much fun from you. Just do his story. Forget Cassian Andor. Do Calcaton. But, but I'm, I'm rambling at this point. But, with all that said. Now, do I think Cassian Andor's story could have been interesting at the um, SBS Disney Plus series and Star Wars? Um, it could be interesting, but I didn't before. We all know his story already. Like, we all know what happened to him. Like, there's no way to go with this character. Like, in fact, this seemed like a waste of time. Look at him. I love spy stories, and I love about the infinite enemy, line, uh, enemy lines. But at the same time, though, why are we in Cassie Ender? Why not do another character uh, instead of Cassie But Cassie Ender is not an instant character. He's boring. Now, I, I for this thing, the thing after he, um, Chant to win with the time of Mandalorian. Yeah, I got books and uh, that's not gonna happen because Mandalorian, that's been awesome, that's been fresh, that's been bad, and that's been a great show. This might be just something more corporate or something over. Now, look, I can be hunting all my night, I will admit that, and if I'm wrong, cool! More, 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 uh, I see two guys. I'm glad I actually got out the show, and if it turns out to be great, fantastic. That, that's fine. I'm all for that. But for me personally, I think I really need a very I mean, bad idea because, well, has the end is not an instant character. We all know his story. He died at the end of Rogue One. The end. There's nobody else to go with him. Now, like I said, uh, you know, given Luna might be an idiot actor, so maybe then she can make the character a lot more interesting in this show than the next movie. Because we didn't give a lot of time or to give him more backstory. So, you know what? Fine. You want to go with Spy at the espionage stuff uh, for Star Wars? Go for it. However, if I had to have a counter argument in the to send it on the burning side, why not do an Imperial Agent story for the old public? Imperial Agent story I mean, was awesome! It was a great story, a great at the espionage story, a great at the Empire story, my opinion, but the Empire story might be probably of all the old uh, Republic. And a great in my opinion at the double cross, triple cross at the Agent Imperial Agent of the Empire, and a great story. Why can't we do this story? This story is awesome, it's really bad. Do Imperial Agent! Forget after you're going. Do Imperial Agent Army is such an interesting actually, story that I'd wait uh, so many to explore. And I just want more about the Empire, or how, how it works, and, and you have to more explore how did a uh, double agent and Imperial Agent get information from I think it will be enemy line. Like, just do this story! This story is awesome, oh, badass. Just do Imperial Agent story. I mean, it's so rich with potential. But that is my opinion. Um, now with them doing a uh, catch and end of the story, fine, go for it. But for me personally, I think it's really a big bad idea. I think that they, they, they should just tell us a different story altogether, or for more man or or do something else. Do something else in general instead of doing anything in catch and end of the story. For me, that's my opinion. Like, look, if this turns out to be great, turns out to be awesome, badass. Cool, more, more power to Disney Plus, I'm glad to be a good show again, like the manual and like Clone Wars. But for me personally, I think this is actually going to end in a complete disaster. Like I said, I can be 100% wrong with that a little bit, a little bit I hate being negative. But, wait, wait, no one, no one in general cast in Andor. His story is told away, we don't know his story. But that is my opinion. I, 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 I for the synopsis concerned, it, it does look interesting, and Diego is a good actor, so many guns will try to be great. But for me personally, I think this is a very bad idea. I think this is focus more on other characters besides than Cats and Andor. Maybe that's my opinion. But hey, hey, it could be what it could be what you know, honestly, we could be getting bad at this. You know, well, I'm going to start the movie with the the secret room on a great, but I'm going to make this point. Any, who wants to help with you? I'll give it this, it should be an instant short of watching you know, Disney Plus. But, what, oh, that Disney Plus, I didn't know I was talking about Disney Plus. I still have a gold match on my show, but that's about it. Well, I end my new Clone Wars, and so it's... Any, who wants to have it? That's it, that's probably it, oh, yeah. In conclusion, in conclusion, MX Savage, the Captain and the Synopsis, and the reveal, I think it'll be an espionage-based Star Wars series. Um, I'm intrigued. 
but I'm not excited about Run Run before I give it a cast the end or but it did seem to be good to be at the awesome then cool more power to you guys I'm glad I think we're gonna get the stars coming again but if it turns to be bad then well shit it sucks but yeah what what's it gonna wait to see happens and who knows it's it, it means it'll be good but like I said like I said if it's gonna be good cool if it's not then whatever who cares and uh, we can just move on I do this but anyway what's up this is my point don't wait for cousin and there's an option review, probably an SP9 bit Star Wars series. Um put on condom to these bands of ancient news. Do I get to it? Also, how do you guys end of your own spin-off series and your synopsis reveal? And all you start with the SP9 bit Star Wars series. Put on condom. Also like my favorite, follow me on Twitter. Um put on Scum and Channel, follow on Twitch with stars. Put get the bell icon, you have to watch a long story. Correct me if you can, I'll talk a little longer. Start with. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Start. See ya.